Hey guys, so I tried to film a video like this uh, about a week ago, but uh, it didn't really turn out. So today I'm at Barnes and Noble and I'm going to go in there and attempt to film and we will see how it goes. I tried last time and someone decided to stand like two feet directly behind me and follow me along the manga section. Like word for, I started at the A section and then 15 seconds after I was there, someone decided to stand two feet behind me and follow me around. So uh, I couldn't film that time. So I'm gonna try to film this time. It is later um, during a weekday. So there shouldn't be as many people there. Um, and hopefully there will be no one in the manga section and we'll see how well I can film. I'm still not used to filming in public. Um, I don't know, it's, it feels weird. <laughs> So now I'm done at Barnes & Noble. I found some more things to buy, which is not good for my wallet in terms of paying retail price for books, which I usually don't do, but I guess for these videos, I'm going to do it. Um, but I got just a couple things this time. I will actually include that clip right now so you can see what I got last time um, because it kind of pertains to what I got this time. I also went to Hot Topic because I'm like 13 years old apparently, but that's okay. Um, I got Mob Psycho 100 Reagan. Um, this is like the spinoff of Mob Psycho, focusing on Reagan, who I know about because my roommates talk about that. Uh, okay, yeah. And then I also got Mob Psycho 100 Volume 6, um, cause I don't have this one and I don't have it, uh, ordered from right stuff. And it's pink, so I got that. Um, I realized why I don't like going to Barnes & Noble too much for manga. It, it's very expensive, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's all retail price, obviously, and uh, I don't have a Barnes & Noble membership anymore. Uh, I used to, but I don't, and I don't anymore because they stopped sending out coupons when they hired their new CEO or whatever, and it sucks. Uh, so I don't see any reason to go to Barnes & Noble anymore, which sucks because I really do like going into the store and buying books, but I mean, I can just buy things that have right stuff for way cheaper, so I do that. Um, anyway, 
I got Blood on the Tracks Volume 4, which I uh, also need. Um, and then the last one I got is also a pink volume. Uh, this is Zom 100. Uh, I just know that people are talking about this and they really like it. And the cover is pink and it's about zombies, so that sounds fun. And then I went to Hot Topic just, I don't know, because uh, I like looking at their t-shirts, but they didn't have any that I wanted. Um, and instead I looked at their figures that they have and I found this one, which is one of those world collectible figures. I have a lot of One Piece ones, but I don't think I have any from any other series. And I found this Rengoku one. Um, that was the only one they had. So I bought it because I like Rengoku. He's cool. And then I got an Abomination, uh, which is the ugliest Funko Pop I've ever seen in my life. But it's a One Piece one and I didn't know about it. <laughs> so I, it's my goal to buy all the One Piece Funko Pops. Uh, so I got this monstrosity. That's a fitting word for this. <laughs> uh, it's Buff Chopper from like Fishman Island or whatever. I mean, he does that in other things. Apparently it's a 2021 Spring Convention Limited Edition exclusive. I didn't know about this and then I saw it at the store. Uh, rightfully, no one had bought any because it's so ugly. <laughs> um, I'm the only person who would buy this because, uh, I don't know, collection reasons, uh, completionist reasons. So yeah, I have that. <laughs> I like how it says buffed chopper and not buff chopper. I don't know what's going on there. In the previous clip, I got volume four because um, I didn't have that yet. And now I saw this one uh, on the shelves early. This doesn't come out for a couple days. Yeah, I haven't read any of this yet. I'm planning on um, reading it in a video soon. Um, but what I have heard is that it's very suspenseful and that people try to read the volumes as soon as they can get their hands on it. Um, so I just picked up volume five when I saw it there. Um, these volumes feel a little bit, they're kind of thick and I really like the uh, spine of this one. It's very colorful. Um, but yeah, so I have this. So when I start reading the series, I can read all five or the first five volumes uh, really quickly. And then another one I had my eye on last time was Orient uh, volume one. Um, like I said, I, I saw this last time and I was thinking about getting it, but I didn't want to buy six volumes at once. Um, so instead I came back a week later and <laughs> bought, uh, this book. Um, yeah, this is by the creator of Moggy. Moggy was okay, but I dropped it at like volume eight, I think, because I didn't care for the fan service and the characters were mm, not that great to me. Um, but I've heard, I've heard good things about this series, so I'd like to try this out. And I'm interested to see how her art has improved. Um, her art was good in the, in the, in Moggy, but, um, it also looks really good in this series. Um, so... I'd like to see that. And then I'm not really sure what this is about. It might be just another fantasy series like Moggy was, um, but we'll see. I'll probably try this out in a video um, so you can see my thoughts then. And the last thing I bought was a Yuri manga um, because I've heard really good things about this one. And now that I'm looking at it, it has one of those like spine misprint errors, but this one's not too bad. But uh, yeah, it's the only copy of volume one they had, but this is a tropical fish urine for snow. So yeah, I've heard really good things about this Yuri series and I really like Yuri. So I'd like to read this uh, soon. I just bought the first volume because I think they had like one, four and five, but also I don't want to pick up too many of them uh, in case I don't like it, but I've heard good things. So I probably will like it. I'm thinking of trying this out in another video. I have lots of videos planned. Um, I just have to actually like sit down and film them. Um, but yeah, you might see this one in an upcoming video at some point. So these are the three volumes I got today. Um, let me know if you like these videos. Um, vlogs are not something I usually do. I kind of feel like filming the shelves. Not only is it awkward, but also it just feels kind of boring. Um, I mean, I tried to film it in a way that was natural, but also I didn't want to be talking in the middle of a Barnes & Noble to myself. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!